Good morning. What's better than one square body? Any guesses? Any wild guesses? Oh, I think I heard it in the back. If you said two square bodies, well, you're just a dang old genius. I guarantee it. So, not too long ago, while looking for a steering column where I went and pulled the incorrect one. Okay, I went and bought, got one for a manual when we needed an automatic. We're not gonna talk about that. I don't even know why you brought it up. The point was we were in St. Louis Salvage and I seen a green patinered long bed Fred C10 machine that just so happened to catch my eye. It's a patina truck and y'all know I like patina, okay? But here's the thing about patina to me, all right? Patina just can't be it's missing a little paint here and there. I mean, that's just uh, whatever. Uh, like real deal patina truck, it has a look to it. You see the patina and you go, oh man, that looks good. Kind of like, oh man, that looks good. Or hot damn, that travel off looks good. Well, I seen the green weenie out there in that salvage yard and I was like, whoo baby, look at that thing. I don't know if I said it out loud, but I guarantee you that's what went through my brain. So I seen something I shouldn't have seen, and I was trying to forget I'd seen it. And then, I don't know, that video went out, and there's a couple comments about how that one did look cool or whatever. And then I don't remember which buddy of mine, but someone texted me and told me how cool that truck looked, how it had a really cool patina. And I'm like, I know, I'm trying to forget it. Oh, and then there's a comment. And I don't, guys, I'm just, I'm having some fun here, so don't think I'm really upset about this. There's a comment that was like, quit cutting down long beds, all the long bed warriors, and, uh, and quit encouraging other people to cut them down, and all this stuff. And I was like, well, that kind of really makes me want to go get it now, because I think that thing would make an awesome short bed. <laughs> Gotta be careful, all right? This guy encouraged all of it by telling me I'm not allowed to do that. We may have to go rescue it and someday cut it down to a short bed. So I just thought for fun, let me send the owner a message and see what he has to have for that truck. And it is cheap. Cheap, 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 dirt cheap. At the end of the video, we'll add up what I am into the truck because I am gonna pull a couple other parts when we're out there and uh, also, because we are buddies, he usually cuts me a little bit of a deal, and I wanna ask him what he would have been on the truck if he was selling it to someone else. Uh, he just usually knocks a little bit off for me, so I don't wanna tell you my price, and then everyone think that's what you would get. Uh, like I said, he, he, get, he, 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 uh, 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 he takes care of me, uh, but I wanna do an accurate representation had just anyone called on the truck. And that brings me to my next point of why we are uh, getting on it like right now, because since that one video went out showing all them square bodies, uh, when I asked him about that truck and I asked him if he could maybe get a picture of it for me, uh, he said, well, I had to move it already because we had to get some of the trucks out behind it. And he's like, yeah, we've done move three or four of them, getting rid of them, all right, since that video. So I don't know if people seen it or whatever, uh, but, the C10s are, are trickling out of there, and that one has a good enough look. It deserves to be built. We're gonna go rescue it today. We have to. We, we, we can't build it soon, but we don't. I don't wanna build them back to back. I think y'all get bored on that. But we can get it here, have it sitting out in the salvage yard, a nice patinaed long bed ready to go again for future uh, adventures, endeavors. That's the word I was looking for, endeavors. Pulling out the vocab on y'all today. Let's get buck nasty with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we're gonna need a set of rollers and I don't have a set of rollers, but I do have a GMC right here. Uh, now people wanna know if we were done with this truck. Not quite yet. We obviously still got stuff to do. First, we're gonna put a really cool set of wheels on it. Psych! All right, there ain't cooler wheels than steel wheels with caps, guys. Look around here, everything has them. Just need to borrow these. We need to get it in there anyways because some of these don't even have all the lug nuts on there. Don't worry about that. Now this is about to look terrible. The front of this truck's about to look like it just skipped a leg today. Now right here we've got a set of the oversized rally, like Camaro rally wheels I guess you'd say. These babies are aluminum, all right? Brand new spanking, spanking brand new tires 
I found these babies for a deal on the marketplace. They are Unilug, which is why I got them because we always seem to need a set of wheels and tires around here, uh, whether it be big Chevy or small Chevy. These may end up on an El Camino. For today, they're gonna temporarily hold up this GMC. That was so weird. I was trying to take off this side and I'm kicking the devil out of it, hitting it with a good old mule kick. Boom, boom. Come to find out, the wheel comes off easier if you take off all the lug nuts. Fun fact. Here's how to make a truck look terrible. Yeah, those just look tiny on there. Way too small. Now if we went with like a 18 and a 20 in the rear, Something like that might actually work on this truck, but it still wouldn't beat a good set of stillies. Don't get too crazy thinking here, all right? Ah, see? The back ain't as crazy proportions. Uh, still don't look as good as this set of white stillies. At least we got them now to get our pickup truck out the salvage. Uh, let me start doing some gathering. Let's have a little look-see at our junkyard pack out. And here we're going power tools, slice and dice, couple of our wrist savers, impact, extra batteries. I don't have extra batteries for these because my sister has them, uh, but that's all right. Couple hammers, propane torch. We may have to get it hot in her, all right? And up top, I'm gonna put all these lubies in there. We got some PB, we got some free, y'all. I don't think I've ever used this before, but it's been trusted by professionals for 40 years. Ask the can. Uh, PB Blast has been not been doing the greatest lately, okay? You get like four squirts out the can and it fails. Uh, I'm looking for my leaf blower. If I find it, we're going to top it off with some true fuel. Uh, I do remember the truck having a rat's nest in it or the floor was full of crap or something. It was not the prettiest. Uh, so other than that, some zip ties. Can't go wrong there. You might notice I got some alcohol. Well, that's because we're going to get wild out there. No, that's because I don't know what trim was on the truck or if it had any trim at all. Uh, but a lot of that stuff that falls off can go right back on with two-sided sticky tape. And I want to pull this truck out of there as complete looking as possible. So we may have to pop some trim on. I don't really know what we're getting into here. As far as tools, we're just going to take a lot of the basics. Uh, when we went out and got that bubble top with Kenny on Christmas, a lot of people said, I need to set me up a rig with all the tools where I ain't got to pack out and take all my stuff. But guys, that's why I keep stuff that's extremely mobile. Uh, it's very conven convenient to just grab what I want to grab out of here and uh, take what I want to take. And then I ain't got to spend that much money stocking out a truck. Usually it only takes me, I don't know, 20 minutes to gather my stuff and 20 minutes ain't that bad. We actually don't do enough leaving, uh, especially rolling 2024. I want to be in the shop building stuff, be building some cool stuff. I think she's kind of gathered what we need. And uh, now luckily for us, once again, hey, Oklahoma, anyone in Oklahoma, if you ever want to have sailboat races, y'all just let me know. Because all I'll do is I'll plan to record outside that day and guaranteed that wind will blow. So I started loading tools. I heard the shop start tweaking and bending and the wind was blowing. Then I opened the, the door and I look over there and friggin' cedar trees are waving at me. Blow, blow, Seminole wind. Blow real hard, mess up my video again. We're off to a solid start this morning. Come down here to fire up the old, uh, old whitey here and well, she was dead. The tire also looks nice and low. This is supposed to be my reliable one. Jump pack's plumb worn out on its last leg and it don't like holding a charge anymore so it didn't even want to hardly get her started. I was about to throw in the towel for the day. I was about to call it quits. No good dang Chevys. You know what we should do? Put some air in this tire and go, go get another one out the salvage yard. That makes sense. I almost just headed out without my camera batteries. We would have been in bad shape then. We've got her loaded down, ready to go. Head out on the highway, looking for a gas station. Apparently I left this sucker on E. So that's what happens when you're in a rush to get crap done where you can head out of town because we were out of town for like six days total. Uh, yeah, now everything's a mess and I get to 
uh, try to get everything back in order, but we only got the end of this. Yeah, everything's a mess, but it's perfectly fine. Could be a hell of a lot worse, you know? <laughs> right as I say that, we just run out of gas and we're stuck on the side of the road. <laughs> All right, we made it to paradise. Where we're headed is kind of hard to get a trailer into, so I think I'm gonna back up right here and we'll just unhook the trailer. And then we'll do our digging and wiggling up into there and then at the end of the day, maybe we'll just hook back onto the trailer. Back her up now, y'all. Uh-oh, we're crushing today, it looks like. Are we crushing? I'm crushing on this green C10 over here. Got a little crush on it. I actually think our trailer is what killed our battery on the truck. I notice whenever that stays plugged up, there's a light on here that stays on and one in the truck. I think that's what got us. Oh yeah, I ain't turned the truck off since we started it earlier. So hopefully the battery had time to charge. Ah, we'll lock her back up. That'd be my luck. I'd look over, my trailer done gone in here. I knew you wanted to start for me and be good. I knew I knew you weren't that mad at me. Oh, see, we got a stranger picking over our C10 parts. That's why we gotta get out here and get this truck before it's gone. There ain't nothing on that truck you need. You don't need nothing. Back her on up. Back her on up. Come on, baby. Belton there, Mr. No Depth Perception says is good. And that kind of gets us out the way here as well. Well, y'all, after uh, the clutch and brake pedal assembly, uh, building a crew cab, uh, 83. Where y'all from? Around here? Uh, Mod. 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 Yeah. See, I told y'all people out here taking all my parts. The videos are doing good for Sammy. <laughs> they, they hollered at me. They said, hey, thanks for that video. I found a clutch pedal I need. Y'all thought I was joking. Look, the green truck, it was sitting right there. That truck's gone. What? More of that blue truck's gone. Yeah. Suburban up there's gone. He's getting rid of everything. So we're gonna look this thing over. Uh, when we came out here last time, I was not feeling very good. And I ain't gonna lie to y'all, uh, that medicine had the better of me. I don't even remember half that day. Uh, so since, well, since they moved it, just pulling up, I noticed something. Now it's that the bottom of the bedside is now hit and the rocker and cab. I don't remember it being like that. It may have been. Uh, but when they moved it, I'm guessing that got bent up, especially right there. I know we got some long bed lovers who watch. And uh, for them, I brought the old tape measure marker just in case we wanted to lay out some cut lines. <laughs> we don't really need to actually lay out cut lines. I was going to be ornery and do that, but now I'm actually curious. We come off the front of there and we cut 14 inches out of the front basically right there where it starts to bend or where it's bent the worst oh yeah that's actually creased a little bit perfect that's my favorite is where we'd have to move forward of course up here you only leave about a quarter inch if you cut them down but that's all right if we cut that most of that we'll we could put shape back into it and then match it to that it's salvageable uh it's not my favorite i wish we just had a nice clean bedside to work with uh, but that's part of dealing with junkyard trucks and junkyard moving and whatnot. Now the whole rocker, let's lay down here and have this little look, see? Oh yeah, there's no backer on that. That's just that. That rocker's actually pretty solid. So I bet we could knock down on that from the backside right, right here and push all that back out. And then there's a little rust there anyway, so we could clean up that cab corner both are definitely fixable not really a, a big deal just a little extra work right here we got the varad 10 very rare edition uh c10 they had made so she's a little amied a uh, little dent in the door right there i didn't really know about and right in there uh, someone like slick could take his little slappers and slap most of that out probably how's her door open well she opens and she ain't pretty in there. How's she close? Oh, uh, superb would be the word I'd use to describe that. Oh, dang, that's cool. Well, so we do got a piece of trim and it's got the little, uh, that's painted in green too, instead of yellow. But it almost looks like yellow is underneath there. So maybe this was painted at one point. I don't know. I like that green being in there though. Uh, she is sagging. Oh, and that one has plum worn out bushings y'all see that door flopping 
So on our GMC, they were just sagging from people over the years, I'm assuming. They were nice and tight. We were able to bend them up. This one, not so much. And boy, does she look tasty in here. We'll come back to that. So I'm actually a fan of these just being a solid color uh, as well, not being the, the tritone or whatever. The only thing is, I'm real picky about the colors I like on them when they are a solid color. And that's why I like this one. I don't think I've ever seen a C10 this color green before. Obviously it has a good look. As far as the patina goes, it's got a good patina on it. Uh, no, it's not perfect by any means. Yes, I think most of it's salvageable, which is why we're out here in the first place. But guys, you're looking at this and you may think like, hey, that's pretty rough looking, but there's a booty for every seat. For example, United by Trucks, they built a truck, I believe they named it Mud. And if you did not see that thing, I mean, they started with a whole lot of nothing there and they turned it into something really, really cool. And uh, I do believe that could be done with this truck as well. Uh, now, I notice we're missing a little a side light or whatever. Oh yeah, we got trim on our fender wheels. Perfect, because that likes to rust out our fenders. Another little dent. She's a little more dented up than I thought she was. Uh, we got trim on the back. I was going to say it's there, and then I realized the bottom piece is broken off right there. So it's about seven eighths there. That's pretty good. She does have a tailgate. That's a huge plus. We're not too worried about the factory C10 bumper. I still think they're pretty ugly. I like the blazer ones, the van ones, the suburban ones. But both taillights seem to be missing. On this side, she's looking a little straighter. Hey, that's a good thing. Wow, looky there. I never noticed on the bed sides of these that it's indented right there where you got a place to put your finger. Or on our GMC, it's actually mounted to this. So right there it opens up. And not being tritone and whatever, having the back. wonder what year this is. We'll uh, try to find that here in a moment. She had a stick on black pinstripe at one point that uh, is slowly working its way off. Our trim's actually complete on this and our uh, wheel wells are not rusted out either. I've got some rust. They may flop a little. Huh. So that didn't have a support or did it? Oh yeah, someone probably took it off already. Don't worry, we could price that if we cut it down to a short bed, couldn't we? This has an even nicer patina on the door. Looks pretty dang cool. Uh, how she open, how she close. Open her back up, give her the wobble test. Yeah, she's a little worn out, not as worn out. Yeah, someone definitely added green in there at one point because as I polish on that, it's turning back yellow. Oh, fancy little drink here, huh? Nice little frozen water right there. Oh boy, all kinds of good stuff in the back. Bang! Free statue, missing a wing. Wing down. I always say wing it and dang it, and they literally wung it and dung it. Good quality windshield. Old baseball mitt or something. Just a bunch of good trash that probably helped hold in moisture to just rust out. Oh, she's sliding back glass. She's a hunting rig. Around this side. Oh, yeah. She's been painted because we got some body filler right there. So that kind of explains the green color on it. Again, not sure if this is a factory color or not. But I don't think that happened from the factory right there. Man, that fender may be knocked in just a hair. As we come up front, she's actually fancy. She's got the little little bumperettes, little safety, okay? If you're gonna get, if you're gonna go rear in someone, have your bumperettes with your rubber, all right? Rubber equals safety. Actually, rubber kind of does equal safety. If you, never mind, we're not gonna go down that road. Uh, be safe out there, everyone, all right? Be safe. Use your rubbers, like these ones. Uh, grill is in bad shape. It's plumb broke off on this end. The rest of it was there, so that kind of sucks. Oh, no, it was not. It's missing all kinds of little crosshairs here and there's. Bezel is missing, but I did see one on the seat in there. Now, there ain't no way they repainted this truck and did all the firewall and stuff. So this has to be a factory color, right? I don't know. Uh, I am seeing that right there for the first time. And that's a really weird place to rust out a cab. And I also see rust across up there, too. Perfect. Oh, yeah. I see more rust across that seam underneath that heater box. Well, the more I look this cab over, the more I question if we really need this thing. But 
are kind of here already. Like any good junkyard truck, she definitely needs a windshield in her. Woo! I don't know. The color is just good. The color, color makes it kind of work for me still. Gives me a glimpse of hope. See? Oh, she's quick removable. Holy acorn. Damn acorn city in here. And what we got here? A little Christmas decoration, perhaps? Christmas has passed already. Is there not a plate in here somewhere that says the the year of this truck some somehow on a door or anything i don't know enough about these to know where i should be looking to find that we can't look at our spit in our glove box because that's gone we ain't got a glove box in here she's a silverado obviously and she has nitrous oxide as you can tell by that switch right there oh man oh man guys i'm not in love with it but I do think we're gonna follow through and get it up out of here. We may not be the ones to cut it down uh, to a short bed and build a sweet shop truck, but if I ever gotta get rid of it, I'll make sure to find someone who wants to do that. Just playing, all right? Just playing, where am I? Who knows? Uh, I find, I kind of first eyeballed it because we have old Roy for dad and I asked him if he wanted me to cut it down where he could have a short bed patinaed four wheel drive and he said he wants to keep his stepside bed and stuff, so that's fine. Uh, that's what kind of first got the ideas going for me. Uh, let's start piecing this thing together out here. Maybe we should start by getting it up off the ground. Hopefully all of our suspension's there. That tie rod and steering does not look happy. We don't have no lug nuts. That's what we are after. And I'm sure the ground's going to be nice and soft where it's super easy to jack up on. Solid start. Get all the trash out of here. We don't want her looking bad with trash around it. Yeah. Oh, I like to keep that nice and light. Got us roughly kind of laid out here, our nice little workbench. So let's see if we can't get her hind in here up out the ground. Well, that's a step, but that ain't gonna do it. My, oh my, must be my lucky day today. Right here by us, nice cinder block. Uh. looky there looky there just good enough to wiggle underneath there oh don't fall don't fall don't fall starting to pop a wheelie oh this side has a little rust don't i'll just you know that's not there just don't look at it okay shoot we're picking up the whole side of the truck i don't think our drum brakes on this side are going to be good to go I think they're gonna need rebuilt a little bit. Maybe we knock the dirt off of them and run them, you know? Get your Bushwhacker 1250 right there. Yeah, 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 yeah. A little wire wheel restoration. I'm gonna give this PB Blast one chance. And the first time it messes up, I'm gonna punt it across the salvage yard. fan will go home with a game ball that's your head next time here's how we're going to turn a 500 hundred dollar truck into a 600 hundred dollar truck just put on about 400 dollars worth of wheels and tires that's good pot county math oh picking that up i don't know what just gave in my side but i pulled something oh lord have mercy on me today just got a whole lot harder you ever have one of them ones where it's hard to breathe whatever we just did inside it's hard to breathe I'm gonna tap out. I did scavenge and bring us one pocket full of lug nuts. By pocket full, I mean five. We only need 20. Solid start. As I know, sometimes when I smash my finger, I act funny and say it hurt. Well, it does hurt, but those pains usually go away pretty quick. Whatever just pulled in my side is not playing nice right now. Damn old man problems here. I know I should have took my potassium pill. Sure, man, handling this jack will be good for that. All right, I give up. I'm done. Pack it up. We're going home. I need this dump truck anyhow. Oh. Had a moment of weakness where I was ready to go home. But we ain't going home. People love a classic fall. Just thought of something. Apparently if I get around a truck kind of this color green, I'm meant to fall. 
shit, pimp down, pimp down all the way. Turn in my coat, I'm done, come on. Oh, I hope that was on camera. <laughs> Oh, I'd make a snow angel, but I need a real one right now. Please send them one down. Please. Yeah, keep playing with me, truck. That green one got sold too. You'll be on my crap list just like that one was. Got two lug nuts for that one. I reckon it's a good time to start scavenging some lug nut. Those are fancy chrome ones. These ones are super fancy. They're Bluetooth. We got plenty on the three quarter ton here. But I do believe they're a bigger lug nut. Sure are. We're just gonna have to take what we can find. Oh. Come on. Don't do this to me. Well, that socket is now part of that lug nut. Let's see if we get the locking pliers on. Oh, a butterfly. Perfect representation of our green truck over there. Right now, she's ugly in her cocoon. But one day, she may emerge a beautiful butterfly. hi -yah. Oh, that was a good one. All right. Yes, sir. Little honey hole right here, little jackpot. I think we're good. I try to leave them too on any of the ones we robbed from. That way his wheels don't fall off. And I try to scrounge just enough to have three lug nuts for each wheel. You know what they say, three is good enough for me. Bring her on down. Bring her on down. That's all she's got, Captain. I'm giving her all she's got, Captain. Side is feeling a little better, that's good. I don't think that's high enough. Our drag link is plumb bent. I'm sure someone hooked something on a dra drag link and yanked on this or something. So it's bent forward. That's got all this. Well, this is plumb bent too i believe i think that should be straighter but uh yeah that's got us turned real hard at least she spins of course when you ain't got a caliper uh, what would keep it from spinning and that reminds me we didn't check to see if that rear one spins or not when we had that wheel and tire off there if that brake was stuck we should have tried to beat the drum off but here we are she may get it done if it fits it ships damn drift truck y'all see the angle on this thing she wants to do some sideways skidding. Oh, now this side that does have a caliper, guess what? She's a little stuck. We're gonna shock it a little bit. And then lubrication is really good for brakes. So you just wanna spray your brakes down any chance you get. Just plying, do not do that. Oh, she's starting to spin a little bit. Oh. All right, we're just gonna have to work her around. Bang, Buick just came in. Lucky there. I actually know the guy who used to own that and he hit a deer and his insurance totaled it out. Wouldn't, uh, wouldn't pay what he needed to fix it. And he let insurance take it and I heard it was going. I know, he, he got rid of it one way or another. Apparently Sammy bought it, because here it is on the flatbed. If I had a, a Allen, we would just pull these caliper bolts, but I don't. I do, however, have a pair of locking pliers, and uh, they are working. There's one. Bottom one's been a little more ornery so far. Ugh. I don't think she's spun yet. I don't think she's gonna spin. See if we can't burn down the countryside. 
You don't get her nice and toasty. Put the heat on her for a minute there. Try to work some of that in there. Ow! That just slipped. I banged my head on the upper A arm. Guaranteed it didn't knock, knock any sense into me. I needed ibuprofen from my side. Now I need it from my noggin. Oh, rough day. We got this. We got this. Yes. Yes. Uh, the jaws on the locking pliers were twisting. That's why it kept popping off. So I just shoved on it, trying to focus on keeping them straight. And she gave. She spun. That means that headache was worth it. All right, I'm gonna finish getting this out of here. Victory! Victory. Now I'm sure this is gonna just easily slide right off here. Because why wouldn't it? Oh, a little progress on the bottom side. Pry it with our hip and tap. I see the problem here. It's got the sure grip rotor. Sure grip rotors, they got tons of grooves in them where that pad just wants to wants to bite to it real good. If all else fails, beat the devil out of it. And voila! That's how you very easily remove a caliper off one of these old rigs. As, as you hear in sound, she spins beautifully. No problems anymore. Get you some snippers and just snip that old rubber line. And that'll just get out. Oh, she actually had some brake fluid in her. Impressive. I think our stud's a little buggered. Just like you, truck. The big old bugger. Three's good enough for me, but also they say two will do, so we'll take it. I was about to drop it down, but I noticed something. I've got this plastic valence that goes way up underneath there. Hanging, and it's just ugly. We might as well pull it off. I don't think we need it. Ugh. She is, however, a half incher. Hi! -ya! Woo! We need a damn welder where we can cut that, straighten that wheel out. That one's actually pretty straight. Find a scrap piece of something and swap it in there. Because I do not feel like swapping gearboxes and steering linkages and stuff. Not today. Not with how my day's going. I knew I should have brought my damn duct tape. She's got four wheels and tires on her. Uh, back brake's probably locked up. We forgot to check. We have no means of steering it. I think the column's locked and I'm not sure what to do to unlock them. I don't want to break it, but I don't know what to do to undo it. Oh yeah, we could get... No, no, I don't know how to undo the lock. Uh, anyhow, I think it's a good time for a sandwich. Yeah, I got me a gas station sandwich before we headed out this way. Figure this is as good as time as any to sit here and eat a sandwich and just contemplate what I'm really doing here. Woohoo! That's a good looking little sandwich there. Ah, I'm feeling rejuvenated. Ow. I'm feeling refreshed, feeling, ow, like I'm in my prime, if you can't tell. Before we lower her down here, oh, maybe we can lay down. What in tarnation we got here? Oh, Berkeley power bait. Oh, I do apologize about that. I was not ready for the smell that just come out of that little jar. Woo, woo hoo hoo, that's why she's the power bait. She has some stink on her. I should have known better than sniff that. I thought it was damn Play-Doh when I first seen it. Kind of curious if we could grab that and kind of pull on this rocker and pull that back down. If not, we could hammer on it. But also, what I was getting at here was how rusty is our... Okay, we shouldn't have looked. That's what, that's what I just found out. Because that's nice and rusty. Oh, that's nice and rusty. Oh yeah, our rocker's just barely attached to our cab. Of course, she's covered in the dirt daubers. Braces are there. Sounds soft. No, maybe not. They're pretty solid. All the back in here's pretty solid, so... I don't know, maybe people consider that basic rocker work. Uh, rocker to there. Nope, that's part of your floor for sure. Bottom side of the bed all looks good what I can see. Yeah, the gas tank got hit by the forks. We know that for sure. This side looks about the same. But I can see the braces look solid, uh, but along that rocker, the floor, lat, uh, lip, she's rusted. She has manual 
brakes. No power brakes. She did have power steering. I'm gonna look up the grills of these. I wanna know what year it is. Had a little cell phone service, looked up a C10 grill chart. The best I can tell, I think I determined this one was a 79 because of the rectangle openings, the full bezels here on the side. And ours, I think is a 80 because it has more square openings, but it also has the full bezels on the side. I'm curious if them grills are not interchangeable. And if they are, where and how do we get to them? We got a Phillips screw up top on each side. There are ones down on the bottom. They, oh no, maybe they are right between here. A little risky because this sucker's going to be flimsy. Oh yeah, she's cracked already. She's a little better than ours because she ain't missing a full chunk. But I don't even know. Unfortunately, the best grill out of all these ones out here is over here. And it's painted. Someone had to paint it black, which did not do it any favors. Oh, but shoot, that right there is the missing piece we need. That one's already broken. For some reason, I thought this front end was like super duper good. It is super duper not. Just trim her down a little bit and kind of glue that there and we're off to a solid start. No more walking around and I seen this one over here. Oh, she used to go to Tinker Air Force Base and she was air conditioning. Uh, this is the best grill I've actually seen. I think it's all in one piece. We're missing one little piece across there, but that don't bother me too much. However, I don't remember. I looked it up. I think this one's from like 78, 76. I, I done forgot. Either way, I don't know if it's going to fit ours. Let's see if I can get her off here without breaking it, though. Right now, I wish I was more educated on pulling these front assemblies, but I ain't never mess with one. See that sucker just spinning there? Those are what we're trying to get free. Come on, baby. Be good to me. So as I undo this screw, I can't help but notice a yellow butt splash right there. And uh, you look right down there, and we got a pink, then a red, then a blue. And then a good old Pot County twist nut. So I do not doubt one bit this truck had a nice wiring job on it. Oh, she's starting to move some. I can see her clip spinning on that one. She barely has us. All right, I dropped the clip, but I got it to come off there anyhow. Y'all didn't realize how spoiled we were on that other truck already having a decent front end and stuff, did you? Be good to me. Be good to me. She's missing one tooth, but that's pretty common around these parts. Next question is, does that grill actually fit into this insert? Or are we just wasting time? It looks like it may work. I don't see why it wouldn't be interchangeable. She's free. We lost all of her screws, but we don't need them, do we? I don't know if she's gonna last. But we're having to rob us a couple clips here. There's a couple plastic ones that are sure to break. So I'll take them. Slide that in there. And pop her up in there. Let's try our luck. She's going. Yeah, something broke. I don't know what it was, but uh, that screw tightened up. So we're just not going to look too close. All right, we just ended up with all six screws pretty dang snug. I was not expecting that. And it does seem to fit the shape of that pretty good. Our bezels are actually in pretty decent shape. Most of that would uh, really buff back and clean up good. Steel wool will take off all that stain. So I'd like to figure out how to get that back on here with this not flopping around. Uh, we got a slight curve ball though. The screws for all that stuff, they got the little uh, Torx, Torx bit head on them which I do not have with us. You could say we're in a little situation. Oh, get the, oh, did bring the small impact when we need that because the, the boys here, they saved me. Look at that quarter inch drive, little torques. Get us some hardware. Our other one's missing the bucket, so we're gonna have to get that too. How does this trim attach to the valence? 
clicks on there, don't bolt on there, or what? Now, I thought our bezel was good on this side, but now that I'm looking, I noticed our lens was busted. Well, that's busted, that's busted, that's busted, and that's got a big old nut holding it. So she's not in that good a shape. Oh, bucket's just a flopping as well. Perfect. Let's see if we can't find a, a better one of these as well since we're here. How did I just lose that dang screw? Two seconds, that's all it took. I guess every time you take off one of these bezels off the truck, the light just flops wherever it wants to go. This lens is so dirty, she dang, dang near matches the color of the truck. Grabbed her lens anyhow. I had a suspicion we may do some cleaning, so I brought our uh, So Fresh and Clean all-purpose cleaner by the Sweet Patina. Uh, she just, she's a good general cleaner. That's why they call it all-purpose. It kind of makes sense, don't it? Yeah, I think it's helping it just a little bit. Definitely better than our broken one. Let's install it. Nice and easy. That ain't going in there. It ain't sitting flush, I mean. It's like that whole thing needs to come this way or something. This may require a little custom body work. The bracket looks bent a little bit, but not a lot of bit. And that is exactly what I was afraid of. That old stuff's just brittle, guys. It's just been out here baking in the sun. I should have left it tight when I had one holding it. And I got one more, and that's all. That's all she's gonna get. I didn't even clean that one. For now, we're just gonna put it in. No wonder why that other one wasn't fitting good. It's got an L, which probably means left. And that has an R, which means right. So I had one from the incorrect side. All these trucks must have terrible buckets. One thing holding that one in is a zip tie down there. Like I said, they're all flopping and flipping and flipping and flopping. This truck actually has a little bit better lens. It ain't so orange-ish. I'm hoping we can get the bucket from behind here. That's going to be the main problem. Our clips there breaking that those uh, thread into. Yeah. We may get lucky and we may not. Fold our wire in a little bit, getting that off there. Unhook from that spring, get our two screws. At least we can get most of what we need. These clips you can definitely order online. Or I'm sure your favorite parts place could get them for you. Uh, at least us having a bucket and a trim ring and the hardware is a start. Cut our zip tie. Uh, we actually have a bucket over here. I done forgot. What we need is that spring. I gotta get it on there. Pop what's left of our clip in. Uh, yep, that ain't happening. Well, crap. Hooked our spring up, but without being able to get a, a clip for in there, we're kind of pissing in the wind here. Sometimes we gotta be smarter than the junkyard pieces. Oh, y'all's dirty. Give you a little polish job. Took our clip and put it on the back side to use as a nut plate. It don't hold itself there, but it's gonna at least let us keep our hardware into place where we take the hardware we need with us. And like I said, in the future, someone can get a couple new clips for that. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Have some happy headlights. Got another one here, which is good. We're gonna need it for that side. She ain't gonna just go on, is she? That'd be way too easy. Three out of five, we're gonna take it. It don't take long when you start messing with finicky crap like this. Hey, just found a 916th wrench someone left out here. Uh, trying to swap out all this, especially when you don't know what you're doing on it. First time messing with it and breaking pieces and crap like that. It does not take long out here 
for time to be flying by and it don't really look like you're getting that much done but we actually are because we've got pretty complete grill uh this stuff is kind of what we need now so i'm going to just fit, uh, finish up that other side and i ain't gonna make y'all just sit there and watch that it's hard enough to watch one side much less two that side went together way easier now as far as these lights i did some picking and i found two with the little trim rings uh, one looks really good the other one not so hot Oh, Pot County Rebuild right here, baby. Old Sergeant Doolittle here. We're gonna uh, borrow some taillight lenses from him. They're not fancy and don't have the trim ring. But they're a lot better than the ones we got. There she goes. Woo! So we keep adding stuff. Value of our truck may have came up to about 475 by now. Oh, forgot the wheels and tires. 615. 615 solid number. She'll make a looker yet. I don't know how the hell we're gonna roll that. We ain't even close to that. Uh, what I'm wanting to do next is I do have a hood for it. This is probably the last missing piece for this we're going after, I think. Oh, nope, that ain't true. Uh, anyhow, let's get us a 916th set up. And Sammy told me there was a nice blue hood sitting over here on one of the frames. And I found the hood he's talking about. It actually has not been buckled before. That's surprising. She's got a little body filler, but that's all right. It's actually got a pretty good patina on it that could match that truck. We would just have to uh, blend where the blue paint is and then put a little rust back over the paint. Uh, we could definitely make that hood work on there. Now, as far as hinges go, uh, I've seen this set sticking up and the hood is buckled but i want to see if the hinges work well they're trying to work anyhow wrist saver is a better fit for this job treasures underneath this hood high performance motion one two three let's see here no i may have dropped it may have lost it wonder how lucky we're going to get with lining these suckers up if we can get this hood actually on and to kind of be somewhat happy. Will she be good to me? Will she play nice? Will she close like she's supposed to be on this truck? Now it's a shame it ever got picked over because basically all we're doing is probably putting right back on what was ever picked off out here. I don't know, I don't know how long this truck's been out here. Now this would be an excellent time to have an extra set of hands. However, we do not. So I'm gonna go give that hood the old heave ho and see if I can't pull whatever in my other side instead of just my right side, we'll get my left side too. sort of getting there this is not going well hangs up here hangs up there whoops me everywhere we will not be defeated all right kind of sort of lining up this is going to take the classic prop leg trick hiya Whew. we got a thread by george There's three. There's four. Get me out of here. Yeah. Get me out of this hell cave. Oh. Whew. About took a spring and hook where the spring and hook don't belong, if you know what I'm saying. Be careful hopping out of there. Oh, 
before we shut her down for the first time i'm gonna uh just lubricate all the hinge just every bit of it get a little lubrication in this situation be good to me baby trying did she latch she latched She's not the best fit up. But I'm a glass half full kind of guy. She ain't the worst fit up neither. Uh, it is bowing up some, which would make me think the uh, it needs to come forward or backwards some. Um, probably forwards, right? That would make sense. Uh, we're definitely favoring this side. A little bit bigger gap here. But she looks better than the hood she had before. And I think that'll be good enough to get us out of here anyhow. Yeah, see how that rust just carries over? Man. We could finish resting. In fact, there's enough rust on this. Yep, we can make this work, I promise. Let's try the old hood release. Where's that parking brake? That's parking brake, dummy. There's the hood release that won't release. Or is it? What the heck's that? I don't know. Oh, that's that little vent in there. This thing probably just releases from up here, don't it? Guys, I never claim to be smart, okay? Feeling a little generous, so I'm gonna go ahead and spray down our latching mechanism and stuff since we're in there again guess who closed a little better that time it's like magic in a can she's looking like a pretty complete <laughs> complete truck compared to what we started with anyhow all right let's be fair about it uh one thing she does not look though is any cleaner she's more complete but she most definitely is not neat that inside's full of that rat's nest and i have no intention of taking that back home with us so i think the seat's free i'm hoping we can open that passenger door pull the bench seat out of that away and then start scooping that crap plum out of there got us some gloves got us a mask try not to breathe that crap this looks terrible hey i found our glove box that's just nice and caked on there absolutely disgusting right pee and poop uh just makes that nice and sticky where it just sticks to our glove box that i would like to take with us uh of course from laying face down and all that pee and poop and whatever else got in there she has more patina than the rest of the truck now of course oh we couldn't have picked one of the clean trucks could we look at that whole seat bottom just solid luckily most of it looks like it's kind of coming out of there easy except for up there yeah they got her packed in the springs good up front the seat actually looks in pretty dang good shape springs are nice but man once they get the rat nest in them they are just a pain to ever get clean again foam's blown out of it we may just swap her out for a new seat how's that sound and if y'all thought that thing was missing some rat's nest don't worry i found the rest of it oh my gosh that's a solid probably three and a half to four inches of just rat poop right there and it's solid enough to break that plastic obviously oh poop break hey we got some carpet here huh come on whole carpet just come with me homemade carpet job oh yeah that's definitely custom we definitely found some speed holes in our floor over here digging through the poop is my absolute favorite part of the job nothing else i'd rather do yeah it looks like we got some thin floor pans over here too careful don't want to get stabbed by that sucker keep pulling out what i can here after a few more handfuls we may have to fire up the old leaf blower to give us a assist oh it's prime time baby let's get her primed up electric starter needs a new battery she just don't want to play nice
kind of idling low and a little lumpy sounding. Didn't know I put a camshaft in her. It's helping with the loose stuff, but like that, that's not loose. We're just gonna have to call that GUD good enough. Uh, time's flying, I'm trying, but the day's going by and we're gonna run out of time before we know it. She could look a little better in here, but it is what it is. All I can say is, uh, good thing it's cheap. We're gonna clean her out. Uh, oh, got some mud tires for the back right there. She'll be a, a old mud slinger. That's what she's meant to be. Uh, I'm gonna carry as much as the uh, obvious trash to that bed as I can. Some of the leaves and crap. We'll kick it out the back. Nice, soaking wet clothes. Oh, oh, oh. Well, we got a little, uh, little, little salsa shaker. Tummy shaker, make me roll that tummy and shake that hiney. I think that's what they wear them for. I don't know. You hear that or they're damn, uh, what do they call those people who used to go to other countries on ships and try to take over the countries? Conquistadors or something. That's the tailgate we need is the conquistador or whatever. Conquistador. No, conquista. And it is a door. Uh, we need that tailgate. <laughs> don't y'all let me forget it. One load. Two load. Yo! Load number three was a little heavy. If you ain't ever swept the bed of old pickup with the old baby stroller, then you ain't really living, are you? Found a license plate. I don't know if that belonged to this truck. Uh, we may hold on to it. Having that sometimes makes the title process e easier. Uh, but if this did belong to this, which is a big maybe, it was last tagged in 2002, which really ain't that long ago. Oh, don't forget our drink from earlier. What in tarnation is in the bottom of that? Looks disgusting. Pour it out. Then pour it on yourself. We're going for a three-pointer. Right. And we missed. The good thing is, is I threw that all that disgusting water while well, I felt it hit this side of my face, specifically right there on my lip. So, yep, that was yummy. We're getting closer. I found what I think's an old pillow. That's working really good for scrubbing this sucker out. We're gonna keep our drive shaft, we're gonna keep our glove box, but the rest of this, I'm pretty happy with that for as far as quick little junkyard scrubbing in the bed. She shuts like a charm. go just take them couple rubber stoppers out hey yo that side latched anyhow don't actually adjust the the little latches or nothing they'll be fine we'll just uh, leave the rest of that door panel there how's this one closing oh she actually latched Hell, if we did anything today, guys, at least we got her to latch. I know I pulled the bench seat out. I'm not too worried about it because uh, we've got two projects where I'm going to end up with an extra bench seat. One project, two bench seats. We're going to end up with an extra one. Uh, old Roy for my dad. So, I'm not too worried about uh, sourcing one today, especially as we run out of time here. Uh, I think that's pretty well it for it. Oh yeah, one piece of cab trim back there we need to get. But while well, it's on my brain, and we're right here next to it, let's see if we can get the Conquistador. Uh, two bolts each side is all it looks like. Oh, maybe a little bit of wiring. Oh, 
supposed to be some cables too, but uh, apparently they had rested. Oh, spring-loaded cables. Very nice and fancy. I'd expect no less from El Camino. Just uh, easily separate that wire right there. And I think four bolts and she's gonna belong to us. Oh, baby. There's some chrome tips underneath here. You see the chrome pencil tips with the hitch? What do we got? I'd rather be gulping a cold one at the 89er Club in Lexington, Oklahoma. This El Camino has done so many illegal activities, it probably ain't even funny. If you want a stick well to hitch like that on the back of your Conquista and some chrome pen pen pencil tips, I know this thing has definitely had some beer slammed in it and done donuts before. That's a fact. I'd bet a large amount of money that the guy who used to own this, his name was either Dale or Earl. One of the two. It definitely en uh, ended with the L. Dang! El Camino? My name's Daryl. Daryl ends with a L. L. El Camino? I'm gonna get me one of them. Ow! Damn it. That's the second time I've been bumped on my noggin today. And I will say, I do have a headache. I don't believe uh, headbutting that A-arm earlier helped me any. Oh! She's ours. Look at them shim plates. We're gonna take them with us. Ugh. Up and at them. Them old ankles don't work like they used to. That side's still a little painful. Put those with our glove box. I love that sticker on there. That's some cool colors. El Camino, thank you for your sacrifice to us. You gotta show respect to the El Caminos. Uh, oh, <laughs> El Camino, you're lucky I ain't taking that sweet mud flap right there. Did I say this thing had done donuts? I'm pretty sure whoever drove this went to jail, was arrested out of this at least six times. I didn't know it had mud flaps on the front. Woo, that's ugly though. We don't like that, do we? All right, one last thing I almost forgot, but as we were cleaning out the back, I looked and remembered again. Like I said, we have the uh, trim pieces, the wrapper cab, but our back piece is gone. That's a pretty wide piece. So I'm gonna do a little digging around and see if uh, there ain't one around here we can maybe salvage at the salvage that's why they call it a salvage now look at this truck she has a sweet color on her had the trim package three quarter ton four wheel drive or no no just a two wheel drive it had the corner pieces at one point now that thing's humdingered but it's better than the one we got oh just slide her off you gotta be crapping me uh, so they have little studs that your clips slide on and then your clips go inside of that and i guess that's one way to do it anyhow this may not even be the right piece that we actually need because i don't think that cab had any studs hanging off of it but it dang sure looked like it used to have some trim across there surely they didn't just put cab corner pieces on without a piece that went all the way across did they i don't know y'all let me know what i don't know down in the comments below. Sure looks like it should go there. We're not gonna worry about attaching it because I think we're gonna be doing good to get this thing loaded and get out of here in a decent time. Look at the sun. Yep, it's probably 412 already. And one last part, and this ain't for either, or this ain't for this, it's for the GMC because we're doing door panel conversions. I do believe that gentleman said I need uh, these pieces. And lucky us, I found a truck that both the panels were already taken off of. And we can get right to them. Hopefully these are the right ones. I don't really know. Dang, that's a cool little emblem. The trailering special. 9,000 GCW. The old bourbon was set up for some towing, baby. She just a little cross-threaded. Oh! go hook onto my trailer i called sammy asked him if he thought we could get this out of here with the loader uh because of that front one being cut even if we have it rolling it ain't really gonna roll very well for us and we don't have a we we don't have nothing to shove it around or yank on it if it was rolling decent we could maybe chain the front and drag it around but ain't no sense in fighting it as we run out of daylight when they got a loader here 
I got out of his way and he didn't waste no time getting her picked up. We do all that work and it just flips off there. <laughs> I wouldn't even be mad. I'd just take my wheels and tires off of it, hook onto the trailer and leave. Don't get my rocker again, by golly. Well, they got her wiggled out and here she comes. Once it got it way picked up there where the sun was shining on that passenger side, it showed me every dent and ding I didn't know that side had. We didn't need to see that before we bought it by any means. It's all right. Down. Oh, 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 my ears, my ears. That's pretty gentle. He's old gentle giant in there, same he is. Oh, oh, not the bed some more. <laughs> yeah, we already gotta fix it. Don't worry about it. Thing looks like it has a lift kit and I have having some aired up tires on it on a trailer. He found some more of that damn rat's nest, didn't he? I said we're leaving that here. Well, we got her strapped down, about to, head, about to head out of here and try to make it to the car wash before the sun drops completely if we can. Uh, Sammy happened to notice, look what's right here. That's right, that's the color match to it. Uh, but it has been KO'd. Yep, she had a little body filler on the front too. Oh, fancy, they actually carried the pinstripe up the up the front and then down the center. She so used to be a hell of a rig when she was in her prime, I guarantee it. We are trailer on, trailer loaded, headed towards town. It is 4.50, 10 minutes short of five o'clock. How can we spend all day in the salvage yard and only get that much done? Uh, guys, that little finicky crap, piecing this and that together. Apparently it just takes time, of course, making it into a video recording, that takes a lot of time too, uh, but, is, mm, she's a little rough. I'm still happy with our day's worth of work out here though and showing the potential. I just about got into trouble. I almost stole their little Torx bits. I, I honked and went to wave and then remembered I had tools. I seen the one gentleman who had brought them to me. So I got them their Torx bits back. Tor Torx bit back. A little tongue twister for you. Head's pounding guys. Man, that headache just ain't gone away since earlier. Uh, we got her here. I could wait and wash it in the morning, but it's gonna be colder then. So I'm gonna just power through and give her a quick little scrubbing. Oh yeah, she's got some good buildup on her. Blasting our pinstripe clean off. Junkyard tail lights looking pretty good. For you people who like the uh, clear coat put on the old patina rides, that kind of gives you an idea of what she'd look like slicked up with a little clear coat. Oh, there's some good moss right there. Moss be gone. Look at the wind, uh, nice and filthy. Just power wash her a little bit. We're about to turn a $400 truck into about an $800 truck. Can y'all see that right there? I we're just hitting that whole layer and knocking that layer off. Bring that old color back to life a little bit. Front bumper's being ornery, nice and dirt stained. Uh, if we had some steel wool to scrub on it, it'd probably take all that right off. I don't know who's cooking what around here, but it sure smells good, and I guarantee it ain't the Sonic in the background. I mean, that ain't a bad looking front end, con uh, considering what we started with. GUD, good morning to you guys. I ended yesterday at the car wash. By the time I got her pulled out and everything, I was done. It's kind of pixelated outside. That means it was too dark and the camera was making everything pixelated. I might have to show you what she looks like wet because it looks pretty cool. It'll give you an idea of what it'd look like if we were to buff it out and or glossy clear coat it, which I usually preach against. 
but this morning you can see it in a, a nice frost, frost <laughs> which is the same as like a, oh took off some of the paint right there <laughs> got green frost oh, no. <laughs> this is what it looked like with a flat clear coat guys uh, this morning slick dropped by to drop off some pontiac parts for the old uh, firebird we should call that thing the budget bird the bird budget bird the budget bird uh anyhow we'll get to the budget bird at some point in 2024 uh this thing this morning there's two big things that's holding us up from just getting after it and that's uh our drift full lock to the left steering and our lack of steering from the column being locked now i did just try about a thousand gm keys i have and no i was not lucky enough for any of them to unlock this sucker uh, so i think we're gonna start pulling on it where we can figure out how to get it unlocked and we need to cut our drag link we're just gonna straighten the sucker up and scab in some scrap metal the drag link's no good so that's just the quickest easiest way to get her off the trailer i need it off the trailer because i need my trailer for monday me and dad's gonna go play with the john deere tractor john deere green your yellow interior oh <laughs> hell no Sle yellow stillies <laughs> Full yellow plaid interior, yet yellow. yellow and green plaid. Terrible. Oh, or would it be? <laughs> it would be terrible. It would be terrible. <laughs> we slam it on like 22 inch gloss yellow, yellow stillies yeah. with the John Deere logo on the door. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm gonna have Slick start pulling some of this baloney in here because I think if we can pull this, if we can get to the cylinder lock, I actually have an extra cylinder lock with the key. You gonna need some torques bits? Yeah. That's that's the whole story of this this build. Gotta have torx bits, and we ain't got them. We may not have no torx bits, but we got hubcaps, dang it. With slick all set up, I'm gonna grab our slice and dice. We're gonna go play knick knack patty whack with this drag link. Oh! Some of you are thinking, how's the back feeling? And uh it felt really good by the end of the day yesterday. This morning when I just woke up, felt like I did it again, like it's brand new and fresh. I knew that last little bit was gonna get sketch, so I tried to hide behind the guard. Billy Bob loves Charlene. Guys, we got a name for the truck. We would be doing this truck a dishonor if we did not name the truck uh, Joe Diffie. And if you ain't heard the song John Deere Green by Joe Diffie, go listen to it. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure when he was saying John Deere Green, he was probably picturing a truck just like this. Just driving it with Charlene in there with them. Anyhow, you see we got the drag link, a nice custom two-piece. So let's see if we can straighten this one. Not quite. Take a little tension off will probably help. Let me ease the tension around here. That did not help. Oh, hold on. That's still gonna, that one's still linked to the gearbox, which is stuck on the column so it's probably not gonna spin very much till we get that free but she's turned at a little bit of an angle so if we just kind of match this side that'd be close enough for what we're doing this side was ready to roll off the trailer wasn't she <sighs> give her a few little hip thrust hmm there i like that putting alignment <laughs> <laughs> and more baby i like that <laughs> We do her by eye, and three out of four times, we're right. Oh, yeah. I forgot our idler arms plumb tweaked that away. That ain't helping us none. Look how crazy that is right there for that all to kind of be matching now. This is plumb over here. That's plumb over there. That's kind of right. So let's try to whoop on that with a hammer and see what happens. If you need an alignment, come see us today. I don't think she moved any. Let's bring the heat. I just realized something. <laughs> now after I beat on that and changed it, uh, I do think that was bent. I don't remember him being crooked, but it may not have been because this piece actually should be facing backwards so that whole little rig right there is flipped around somehow 
Even with that spun that way as far as it'll go, it ain't gonna do it. And I can't turn that way. So I don't know how they ever flip that around. They were very talented. Heat did pretty good for us. I tried beating on that to drop it and it didn't want to drop. So got the good old pickle fork and that did the job. Now oh, that was really smart, wasn't it? Because now it's not actually uh, seated. So we're just going to spin that. I'm a genius, I tell you. That's one way to do it. Lop that sucker off. I'd heated that thing up and it was turning at first, but it kind of got stuck. I don't know why I thought popping it off there was a good idea. Either way, I hope now, one way or another, we can get this spun around the correct way, which would be like that right there. Now, obviously, we ain't got a way to hold that up in there, but we already have to weld our, uh, what's it called? So I just thought maybe we could set a washer right there and put a few tacks on it. We just want to be able to move this thing around the yard. Finding a good ground may be tricky, apparently. Hard to get the helmet in there. So I'm doing the guessing tack here. I think that'll be good enough. Hey, she pivoted. Get her lined up where we're happy again. Maybe just a little extra turn. And yeah, we like that. I think we're gonna kind of be able to line it up a little better now looky there grab just a random piece of scrap out the scrap cabinet she's already cut to that length and everything you know save that you never know when you need to custom modify another drag link we about every other day we're doing these here at Putin's custom alignment. She's welded up. Uh, we ended up with about a 9 16 gap in between there. So that's how much she is manipulated. Some crap may be rubbing. I'm not quite sure, but I think we got a better chance of moving it now than we did before. Then that is part of dealing with uh, cheap junkyard trucks, guys. If you get a, a cheap truck and crap's been on, you know, it's going to be some of the headache you deal with. You pay for a little bit better truck well guess what you shouldn't be dealing with as much little problems uh so i told you at the beginning of the video i was gonna ask sammy uh, how much he would have sold it to anyone else for because i know he usually hooks me up even though i told him not to uh he just always takes care of me i paid 400 dollars for this truck guys uh, i asked him what he would uh charge someone else and he looked it over and he said anywhere from 650 something around like this would have been from 650 upwards to a thousand depending on you know what all you get and everything else with it uh so i think he was saying 650 for this one on up now my whole thing is we're 400 into that uh even at 650 i would have probably still bought it because uh patina's worth the money yeah i know some y'all hate patina but y'all don't really know the market of patina because like our gmc i've had i don't know how many of the patina guys who know the patina get a hold of me and go you know you finish doing what you're planning on doing that truck you're gonna have anywhere from a 20 to twenty-five thousand dollar truck there and some of y'all want me to put a 200 hundred dollar paint job on it which would then make it a truck worth probably eighty five hundred bucks you know which is crazy anyhow roller short bed fr frame right here factory has a drag link on that in much better shape than that custom one over there this factory short bed frame came with a matching set of rallies with beauty rings and a short wide bed which ain't the greatest shape but it'd be usable definitely for something like a uh oh what do you call it oh you know what we can pull the bed sides off of that one if we wanted yeah we could use that factory floor and everything uh so I'm 500 bucks into all these parts. 
that came with that thing i bought that he said oh by the way i got all this extra crap for 500 dollars if you want it to those frames to the right people are worth a thousand bucks because they don't want to do the cut down frame like we did uh so i could take that 500 hundred dollar pile of parts i can take this 400 hundred dollar truck and with a couple of weeks worth of work and just being able to put in the work we can end up with a pretty pretty good patina uh short wide that's on a factory frame which is definitely worth more than the 900 dollars i'd be into it there's options for doing that guys if you don't want to get in the nitty gritty and you ain't try to save super duper amounts of money i would actually encourage you to just spend some money on a nicer truck from the get-go uh i still see like nice long beds for 3500 bucks running driving uh i would encourage you to get one of them and cut it down if you're wanting to do the conversion myself uh, this will be a lot but i mean if you're wanting to ls swap this one hey work's already done for you motor's missing there's just all kinds of budget possibilities here and i think we're doing good for what we're invested uh-oh let's have a bad time uh-oh slot's not big enough on this and i can't get back out yeah this is different than that other one are we lock swapping? Yep. How how she go? Good. So I guess there's a different ear range. If you yeah. have the wrong one, so this is the one for this truck. It has a little key slot. Mm, this yeah. slides down in there like that. Just keeps it like that. Well, if you get a lock switch that don't have that, just be careful. Drill it out. Make sure you hold it center so it don't hit the threads. And you can just re-drill it. <laughs> and stick it back in there. Hey. Custom's custom and working's working. We'll take it. Tight's tight. Tight's tight, damn it. Does the key turn? What else could you ask for? Good to go. So I didn't know that uh, on this one, that lock switch has a detent that just spring-loaded sticks up. You reach down there with a flat head and shove it down, pull that out. That one uses a screw to retain it because, you know, all the trucks are basically the same, so let's just make stuff absolutely different. That makes total sense. We're about to go off the trailer on that side, so we're gonna try to heave ho this way. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's a good idea anyhow. I meant well. Well, crap. So if you can't pull her sideways, a new re-attack will be go kind of straight and then spin it that way and it should move. Oh yeah. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, it just ain't gonna happen. Give, give her a spin or two, Slick. Oh baby, she's a spinning machine. Shooting all of her gear fluid all over the trailer. Beautiful. Oh, hucky pucky. Back to over here real quick where we can uh, hit her with some clear coat. <clears throat> Did you hear that crunch? Yeah, she full of ice. <laughs> no clear coat for us. Yeah, put it for our plans. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to stretch her out here. A glimpse of hope emerges from the end of the hose. Come on. Sometimes it'll uh, just start shooting icicles if you do it just right. It'll be a long washing. Come on. Oh, here it comes. Big sonic ice right there. Oh, yeah. Just like leaving the Taco Bell. We got one hung up right at the end. That'll happen. Shouldn't have had that crunch wrap supreme. Apparently our fitting has a hole in it too. Got one one piece holding us up slick. Oh yeah. Here it comes. Oh! oh! We're flowing now, baby. Do you see all that ice, ice we just shot? a bunch of ice. That's crazy. Oh, baby. She looks so much better with that paint brought back or that color brought back, I mean. And the water gives you an idea if we buffed her or whatever. <laughs> gives you an idea how dented the door is. <laughs> hey, leave my dented door alone. She looks good from here, dang it. YouTube's gonna think I found a $3,000 truck. All right, obviously it looks good. I don't know if y'all can actually see though, that will show you where all your dents and dings are. And that door has had better days for sure. But nonetheless, I mean, she's a looker, guys. She truly has some great potential. Hey, you didn't pressure wash these. Dang. <laughs> They're throwing down some beads in there. Nah, we'll leave them. Give the truck a little character, you know? I'm gonna pop this front strap and see what happens. We don't know if the uh, back one's gonna roll or not. I did hook up her winch. Hopefully she does not slip. Woo-hoo-hoo! -hoo! 
<laughs> you don't like to play Russian roulette, buddy? Oh my gosh. Nah, she's good. That's the majority of it. Hey, back brake rolls. That's good. Hey, it does roll really well. Nobody stand behind it. I think if it would have somehow went, kept going, it would have just cooked the carport, possibly into the Model A. No big deal. Uh, winch ain't working. Our Bluetooth switch ain't working, but the the original just uh, regular old switch is working. <laughs> the steering wheel straight with the wheels. It actually matches pretty good. Yeah. Good thing she ain't got a back bumper. <laughs> Don't tell me those are the same green slick. That truck? Oh, all right. I'm just saying the possibilities around here are endless at this point. Them old utility bedside boxes match. That steering works like a champ. It's definitely going to suck to get the wheels and tires off, but at least we got her to Death Valley here, parked in her spot. Pulled one long bed out of here. A month later, put a new one in its place. Well, we got her parked. That's it for this go around, guys. We're actually about to hop in the tow roller, haul butt back to the salvage yard because I forgot some wheels and tires. Uh, he had three rollers that I'm going to put on this thing that held air. One kept going flat, but that's good enough. Uh, so I'll swap that out later today. But we got a lot of crap to do today as far as family stuff goes and everything. Uh, today, Saturday. Now, we spent a day at the salvage yard yesterday, kind of like when we spent a day with Kenny out on this one. And uh, y'all can see the potential in something versus what it looks like. You get it up off the ground and everything. All of that was easily doable in a day. And I know you're thinking, well, hey, it just took you two days to do it. Well, the, the YouTube, doing the video part of it, uh, adds hours to each project we do. Uh, so all of that was easily doable in a day's worth of work, especially if you're not recording, you're just trying to get you a good project for cheap up out the salvage. So I hope y'all see some of the potential there. You've seen what we could already do with one on that truck and how it turned out. Like I said, I see that in this one as well. Uh, she's more work than that one was, don't get me wrong. However, I hope you guys get out there, you find you a project, whether you want to start with something this rough and really build it uh, up from how you want. Or like I said, if you get your runner driver long bed, also a great way to do it. And you don't gotta cut it down to a short bed, guys. I just hope you guys feel encouraged to find something and uh, build something. And from all shapes and forms, whether you're starting from the roughest or something that's already on the road and just make it yours a little bit. Don't even make it yours. If you find, find one you like, take care of it and just keep it on the road. Uh, we're just, I'm trying to encourage everyone to keep these things up out the salvage yard. Let's keep them where someone's gonna work on them. And hopefully one day that truck, whether it's us who does it or someone else, that truck will be driven on the streets once again, just like Joe Diffie intended it to be when he had it painted green. That's right, I'm starting a rumor. That used to be Joe Diffie's truck. I'm, I'm sure of it. Uh, <laughs> John Deere Green. I'm on the Instagrammer. I'm on the Patreon. Uh, Puddinsfabshop.com. We have been shipping out the OG shirts from that pre-order. So y'all should be starting to see those by this point. I'm kind of, my, my schedule's off, so I don't really know where we're at because this video comes out a couple weeks after I actually made it. Uh, but we appreciate all y'all support. Uh, I will see you guys next time. And do not forget, sit on your ass won't finish your project. Falling on your ass won't finish it neither. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>